Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you are new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe and be part of this big family. If you are old here, thanks once again for coming back. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a Valentine's card using Photoshop. So without further ado, let's have fun. Okay, so first of all, we are going to create a new project. So we go to File, New. And then I'm going to create a project of 4 by 4 inches, inches over here. And then I'll click OK when I'm done. First thing that I'm going to do is to add a solid color to it. So I'm going to choose anywhere from red to something like this. Any color from here will do. So I'll choose this particular color. And then I'm going to select the shapes to but I'll choose the costume shape tool over here and then I have this hat over here and then I'm going to draw a hat like this so any size like that and then I'm going to change the color to white click OK and then I'll center it in the middle like I'll center it here so I'll place it in the middle so what I'm going to do next is right click on the shape layer go to blending options and first of all, I'm going to add a drop shadow to it. So I'll drop the shadow and then you can play around with the settings as to how it will be fit to you. Yeah. So um, I'll go back and then I'll add a little bevel and emboss to it. So you leave this everything the same except the size. I'll increase it more about. 20 or so so i think that that will be okay and then i'll click okay so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my test tool i have my font set to messenger pigeons and then the font size is 24 you can just change it so i'm going to choose a, a red color over here okay so let me place it here and then i'm going to add a test to it so be my so be mine and then i'll bring it inside here so that you can see it very clearly all right so i have it here and then i'll make a duplicate by pressing ctrl g and i'll edit that to valentine okay so be my valentine right so i'll take my time to position them very nicely you can also do the same thing you take your time and then you position them very nicely all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'll grab the rectangle to draw a rectangle perhaps a white one so i'll change the color to white and then i'm going to press ctrl t and rotate it like this and then i'll place it over here so preferably i'll bring it under the shape too so i'll have it over here but then you can just increase it small if you want to okay now what i'm going to add next is i'm going to the shape tool and then i'll select the polygon tool and make the size three so that i'll have a rectangle right so i'll draw a small rectangle like that and then start okay there the color is already white so i'll bring it over here let me zoom in so that i can see clearly and then i'll put it, i'll place it over here so i'll just rotate it small and then i think it will fit over here All right so i'll make a duplicate of that particular polygon too and then i'll place it over here So you take your time to just position them very nicely. So afterwards, what I'm going to do next is go back to the shape to costume shape two, and with the hat selected, I'm going to draw a small hat over here, 
and then I'll change the color to red. So I'll pick this particular color, and then okay, so I have it here, and then I'll make a duplicate and bring it here. So you can just take your time to make as many as you want. Right now, what I'm going to do next is to come back to the color field. Initially, I could have done this earlier, but I just wanted to explain things to you so that you could get it very nicely. So I'll make a new layer on top of the color field over here. And then I'll go and select my brush tool. Right click and go to the presets. This, there is this love brush tool that I made. I made it myself. So you can also make it yourself. If you want to see a video on how to do that, you can let me know in the comments so that I will do a video on that. Okay, so I'll go to window and go to the brush preset. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the brush over here and check for um, scattering in it. So I can increase it over. And then the brush tips. I'm going to increase the spacing so you can experiment it from here. Right. Good. So I will need my color to be white so that you can see it. Okay. So you can experiment that from here. So just brush over like that. I think this is okay. So just brush over like that. Just like this. So afterwards, what you going to do is this particular selected, go ahead and change the blending mode to overlay, and then you should have something so you can add more and more to it if you want to. So you can add as many as as many as you want, and then you can decrease the opacity so that it won't it won't be too much. Um, the brush the brushing looks some way, but you can just take your time to do that very neatly and then you will go so that is a simple way to create a valentine's card requesting someone for maybe something special during this valentine and love season okay so i believe and i hope this tutorial was helpful at least you grab something from it if you did enjoy the tutorial kindly give me a like and then if you are not a subscriber yet kindly subscribe to my channel so that I, I can keep making more videos for you any video suggestions are welcome if you want me to do a tutorial on a particular um, topic or anything just suggest that in the comment section and I'm going to look through all of them so thanks so much for your time I hope you come back again the next time so the next video Take care of yourself. Bye.